श्रीगुरुवे नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं कदा मैं ददाति स्वदातिक वंदेहां श्रीगुर श्रीयुतापदकम श्रीगुर वैष्णवांश श्रीरूपम सजात सगना रघुनाता तम सजीव साध्वेत हे कृष्णा करुणा सिद्धि दीन बंधु भक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी प्लीज एक्सेप्ट आर हम्बल ओबे ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ एवरीबडी हु हैव ज्वाइन द ग्रुप एंड आर अबाउट टू ज्वाइन प्रभु जी वी आर रीडिंग द श्रीमद भागवतम we are on canto 2 chapter 10 the text for today is text 34 uh and the host for today is priya govin prabhu prabhu are you there are you able to log in now hari krishna mata ji i had already uh, logged in before but i took a break outside uh, sorry for that what a problem prabhu ji i have uh, uh, welcomed uh, dinasharan prabhu and then the mangalacharan i hand over to you hari krishna Uh, Hare Krishna. So, Prabhuji, welcome. We are very eager to hear from you, Prabhuji. As always, you are a reservoir of wisdom, Prabhuji. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, would you like to read the Sanskrit, please, and the uh, word for word? Yes, Prabhuji. अत पर सूक्ष्म अव्यक्त निर्विशेषण अनादिम वाट्रांसलेन आरासेंटल उटिंग without beginning madhya madhya without an intermediate stage without an intermediate stage niranam niranam without end without end nityam nityam eternal eternal vak vak words words manasaha manasaha of the mind of the mind param param transcendental transcendental 
Translation by his confounder Acharya, the divine grace, he back to Vedanta Swami. Sira Prabhupada Ki. He done. Therefore, beyond this gross manifestation is a transcendental manifestation finer than the finest form. It has no beginning, no intermediate stage, and no end. Therefore, it is beyond the limits of expression or mental speculation and is distinct from the material conception. Vishar Prabhuji, Hare Krishna, can you read the purport, please? Vishar Prabhuji. Or whoever is ready. Or should I continue? Which chapter is Yes. Prabhuji, are you with us? Second Kanto, yes. chapter 10, text 34. Bhagavatam is the answer to all questions. Second Kanto, chapter? Chapter 10, text 34. Mm -hmm. Papad, my divine grace, Shila A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupad Ki Jai. The gross external body of the Supreme is manifested at certain intervals. And thus, the external feature or form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is not the eternal form of the Lord. How are you? I'm good. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. How are you? Yeah, good. I'm good. Thank you. <clears throat> which has no beginning, no intermediate stage, or and no end. Anything which has beginning, interim, and end is called material. The material world is begun from the Lord and thus the form of the Lord before the beginning of the material world is certainly transcendental to the finest or the finer material conception. The ether in the material world is considered to be the finest. Finer than the ether is mind, intelligence and false ego. But all eight of the outward coverings are explained as outer coverings of the absolute truth. The absolute truth is therefore beyond the expression and speculation of the material conception. He is certainly transcendental to all material conceptions. This is called nirvisheshanam. One should not, however, misunderstand nirvisheshanam as being without any transcendental qualifications. Visheshanam means qualities. Therefore, nir added to it means that he has no material qualities or variegatedness. This nullifying expression is described in four transcendental qualifications, namely unmanifested, transcendental, eternal, and beyond the conception of mind or word. Beyond the limits of words means negation of the material conception. Unless one is transcendentally situated, it is not possible to know the transcendental form of the Lord. Thank you. So we are continuing with our study of Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 2, Chapter 10, entitled Bhagavatam is the answer to all questions. Chapter 10, Text 34. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. And the text again. Therefore, beyond this gross manifestation is a transcendental manifestation, finer than the finest form. It has no beginning, no intermediate stage, and no end. And therefore, it is beyond the limits of expression or mental speculation, and is distinct from the material conception. Here, Shukadev Goswami is continuing to um, speak about Krishna, Specific, specifically in regard to the Lord's uh, connection to and manifestation within the material world. We understand this material world is uh, only one quarter of the entire existence and three quarters 
is in the transcendental realm, which is here described as being beyond the limits of expression or mental speculation and is distinct from the material conception. And Srila Prabhupada explains to us, the material world is begun from the Lord and thus the form of the Lord before the beginning of the material world is certainly transcendental. The ether in the material world is considered to be the finest, finer than ether, our mind, intelligence, and false ego. But all eight of the outward coverings are explained as outward outer coverings of the absolute truth. The absolute truth is therefore beyond the expression and speculation of the material conception. He is certainly transcendental to all material conceptions. So later, much later in the Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, in the 10th canto, in the chapter of the prayers of the personified Vedas, Maharaj Parikit asks, uh, so late uh, he has heard the other nine cantos about Krishna. He has heard um, over 80, 80 chapters of the direct personal leela of Lord Krishna. And then he asks, how is it possible then with our material senses, eyes and nose and mouth and tongue, uh, material sound, how is it possible to, uh, for the Vedas to teach us about something which is beyond, to teach us about Krishna, who is beyond param, uh, beyond all this? And that's a good question. Uh, you know, reading, hearing this, we might think, someone may think that Krishna is beyond the beyond and it's not possible to understand him with my mind or my intelligence very much. They just, uh, how, how am I going to uh, understand? So Marge Brigid, he asked that question. And the persona, uh, Sukadev Goswami uh, describes how the uh, question was put in the past. And Srila Prabhupada uh, gives a, a hint at the, at the bottom of the purport. He says, unless one is transcendentally situated, it could be uh, because we have spiritual senses, thankfully. <laughs> uh, you know, just like when someone is in a coma, there's hope that they will wake up. Because after all, it's just a coma. It has not, uh, it has not erased the person, so to speak. It's just a covering, right? The person is there. And when they come out of the coma, oh, oh, this happened. This is where I am. Everything uh, uh, comes back. And we have the person back with us. And they have us back with them. So uh, we have our eternal spiritual body uh, underneath all of this, this body as we hear again and again, is just a shell. It's like a, perhaps some of us have seen crabs. Actually, there's one crab, which is called the hermit crab, and it goes inside a shell. It finds an empty seashell, and that becomes the body, the house of the uh, crab, hermit crab. So this, this body, it is just a... Uh, shell for us, the soul that we are within or connected to, uh, and using these this shell, it's not possible to get very far to understand spirit, to understand uh, 
things that are beyond our uh, ability, material ability. Now, Srila Prabhupada uh, gives uh, the example a few times. I don't know exactly how many, but a number of times he has given the example that just as uh, all of us, we may have a relative that we have never met, uh, an, an aunt or an uncle. Uh, perhaps they live in some other country. We have never met them, isn't it? Uh, our brother, our father, or uh, mother's sibling. And so the auntie may call uh, to speak with our father or mother. Oh, let me speak to so-and-so. I've never spoken to them. And so they, uh, you get the telling and you meet them through sound, isn't it? Through sound, yes, I am your aunt, I am your mother's sister, older sister. We find out so many things by sound. So in the same way, Srila Prabhupada says, if humans can do that, nowadays we have WhatsApp, right? We can text people. We get unwanted texts. Hello, this is so-and-so. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to you. So, Or maybe we do. Uh, so certainly God, God can contact us. Why not? If, if our auntie can contact us, well, why not God? <laughs> our uncle is greater than God. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What a silly thing. So, of course, uh, God uh, can contact us. Uh, he can make himself known to us. Even these uh, uh, people give reports, these, what do you call them? The Buddhas, the jinn, in the uh, our Arabic uh, culture, jinns and ghosts, uh, Buddhas, Paretas, uh, they sometimes reveal themselves to people. They show something I have seen uh, in my younger years. Uh, so it is it is possible. And so certainly Krishna, uh, so Srila Prabhupada uh, explains uh, uh, that he says, one should not, however, misunderstand nirvasashanam as being without any transcendental qualities. So Krishna uh, has qualities, so many qualities. We could not have qualities unless God has those qualities. We discussed this last week. Uh, nothing can exist unless it's within the absolute truth. It's within, there's no effect which is greater than the cause. That's a scientific or philosophical uh, axiom or truth. We don't get heat from the freezer and we don't put water in the oven to make it into ice because the oven doesn't ha have the quality of cold. We don't get giraffes born of gorillas and uh, the 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 in effect uh, is never more than the cause. So we have qualities. We have a form. We have nose, mouth, ears, eyes. We can sing. Maybe not so good, or maybe very good. So uh, how that can only be possible if the ability to sing and all these things are there. In the cause, this is scientific and it is common sense. We might say it is. It should not take a very big brain to understand that you don't get uh, giraffes from gorillas. It's just giraffes are nothing like gorillas, except they're animals. So Krishna, Ishwara Parama Krishna, Satchit Ananda Vigraha. So how do we know that? So that is sound. Same thing. Lord Brahma, he is uh, transmitting transcendental sound. Golokira, Premadana, Harinama, Sankirtana. It is said, I believe Narottam Das Thakur has said, Golokira, Premadana, Dana, Harinama, Sankirtana, Kirtanam. That this Harinam, this 
transcendental Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare uh, is Shabda Brahma. It seems like it's coming from, it's like any other sound. We could say, bring me two paratas and chutney. So what is the difference? We're speaking with this mouth and tongue, uh, throat, vocal cords, lungs. So what is the difference? You know, bring me malpori, you know, roti. Uh, and But then so Hare Krishna. So how is that different? Uh, by the arrangement of God. Uh, he can uh, do anything. This is the meaning of God. Even an electrician, forget God. <laughs> Even uh, these factories, uh, they can use electricity in a machine to make heat or use the same electricity to make cold, isn't it? Sometimes you can get uh, I don't know if you have seen, but you can get some uh, machine, which is an air cooling and also heat. It will, it will also, the same electricity, uh, depending on the arrangement. So, same thing, this tongue and these lips and the vocal cords, all these things, the air, by the arrangement of Krishna, who is the original engineer, the original inventor, uh, brilliant. Krishna is, of course, brilliant inventor. So he can make it. Uh, that Nama Chintamani Krishna, Chaitanya Ras Vigara, Purnashuru, Nitya Mukta, Binatva Nami Namino. That uh, from the Padma Purana, that Nama uh, Chintamani, that this Nam, it is not like Parata or motor scooter or flat or telly. It is a transcendental. Sound, Hare Krishna, Nama Chintamani, Krishna's, uh, which is Chaitanya, conscious, the holy name is conscious, Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha, uh, full of uh, relationship, feelings, Rasa, and uh, Vigraha, form. Then actually this Hare Krishna, or uh, we sing Kirtan, Hare Haraya Nama Krishna, Yadavaya Namaha. So this is a, a transcendental vigra. So Krishna is there. Nama Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Ras Vigra. Purna Shudo, completely pure. Nitya Mukta, uh, eternally liberated. Binatva Nami Namino, non different in Krishna. So uh, by awakening our transcendental senses by waking up out of our uh, material coma, spiritual coma, uh, we can uh, perceive Krishna. We can experience Krishna. This is the, it's very exciting. There is a scientific method. Just we have to follow the recipe. That's all. Just like when you cook, you make some biscuits or cake. You must follow the recipe, yes? <laughs> you don't follow the recipe. It, it, uh, you get disappointed, yes? Isn't it? Use baking powder instead of baking soda. Or use ghee or butter instead of oil. So many different factors. Uh, it won't work. So many things. There's a method. So there is a, so therefore, Srila Prabhupada says this Krishna consciousness is scientific, meaning uh, there is a method. Just we have to do the method. That's all. Anyone can do it. If they don't want to do it, well, that's, that's their issue. Uh, but Krishna uh, is available and he wants us to know him. Uh, no one is stopping. Just what is our desire? What is our desire to come in touch with Krishna, to understand Krishna, uh, to understand our spiritual self? What is our uh, intensity, enthusiasm? Uh, what is that? Lalyam. Lalyam Lala Samayi, Sri Rupa Goswami says, the price for, uh, 
realizing Krishna, for Krishna prema, is our desire. So how can we increase our desire? That's very, therefore, that's very important. No, how can I increase my enthusiasm? So I wake up in the morning and I'm thinking, oh, how I can come close to Krishna today. I want to know Krishna. So how is that? Who has heard something? Who has read something? How do we increase our loyalty, our enthusiasm? There's different ways. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. I think for me, it was by reading. I felt I was getting to understand him a lot more. And I was more and more curious. And that increased my love for him. By hearing. Okay. Yes, by reading. Reading and reading. hearing. Reading and hearing. Okay, very good. Someone else's experience of you, or you have read or heard something from Srila Prabhupada or the Bhakti scriptures? I'm sure we have heard something. Person Atma, Priya Govinda. Anything? I put you to sleep. So, uh, hey. that process is described in different places by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the process of uh, enthusiasm, uh, interest in Krishna, uh, as Premala said, by association with uh, devotees, because to read, isn't it, means that we are associating with devotees, devotees who are talking about Krishna, right? So, uh, atta, uh, what is that? Adal Shraddha. At first, there was some little interest. You know, what are those crazy people doing? Let me listen. Maybe, or just let me uh, find out about them. And then uh, that hearing, we, uh, Sado Sangha, Adal Shadha, Sado Sangha, we begin associating with people who are interested by hearing, right? Uh, they tell us something about Krishna and they connect us to other devotees and to spiritual uh, masters in the whole disciplic succession. Uh, Adal Shraddha, Sado Sangha, uh, Bhajana Kriya. Then we, oh, I'm, I want to follow this. this. This sounds solid. I, I want to pursue this. And we begin chanting and following the regular principles, Bhajana Kriya. Uh, and as we do that, then uh, the things which uh, block us, they become less, the Anartha Navritti the material attractions that distract us become less. And as we get less distracted, then automatically we become uh, available to be attracted by Krishna, more attracted by Krishna. Uh, we develop uh, nishta, uh, deeper faith. Yes, this is a real thing. Yes, I am experiencing something. I'm following the process. I, I feel happier. Uh, and then we go on with the Bhajana Kriya. The Bhajana Kriya, the, the hearing and chanting, uh, Lord Chaitanya, isn't it? He tells us it is the watering of the uh, plant of devotion. We plant the seed. We get the seed of bhakti planted. And if we water the seed, by hearing. And what happens when you have a, a, a little plant? Sometimes we get some flower, something, herb, we put it in our house in a little pot and it grows and it's very tiny. But as the plant becomes uh, stronger, it grows faster and it becomes stronger 
and it begins to spread more leaves and it gets bigger and stronger, isn't it? And then, uh, uh, you know, if it's a flower, it manifests flowers after some time or fruits, right? So this is our bhakti lata bij, Lord Chaitanya calls uh, the desire for Krishna, bhakti lata bij, the seed, uh, the plant of devotion, the creeper. So we uh, increase that exactly by the shravanam kirtanam, and we also have to protect the creeper isn't it? When you have a little plant, you have to protect it from animals that might eat it. You have to protect it from uh, getting stepped on um, and hurt. So we, how do we protect? What are some ways that we protect our little plant of bhakti? Who remembers? What are some main ways that we must take to protect our bhakti lata beach. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yes. Then what comes? Uh, I could say associating with the like-minded devotees, or devotees who are uh, uh, doing better than you in spiritually, so that can, they can help you. Make progress. Is that just uh, something that, that makes sense to you, or do you remember hearing that or reading that somewhere? Yes, I had that somewhere. What? I had I had that somewhere. Uh -huh. I had it. Uh -huh. Yes. Very good. Anyone else? What are some other ways that we must protect our Bhakti Lata Beach? If we have something very valuable, then we must know how to protect it. You have money, you find out how to protect it. What is the best place to put the money, right? Or some jewelry, you don't want it stolen. So how do we protect our bhakti from getting stolen? Yeah, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. And I'm from Hare Krishna. Uh, Yes, uh, uh, for me, something that I feel like is good to protect my bhakti and which I am actually also uh, struggling with and also would like to, uh, to really put my effort in mostly is waking up early and doing the rounds and chanting the 16 rounds. Waking up early and, and doing the sadhana. Yes. Okay. Not, not in the evening or at night. Uh, Very good. That makes sense. We can't become healed of a disease if we don't follow the doctor's instructions, right? That won't work. Anyone else? Some ideas? Something you've heard? How to protect our bhakti lata beach? Very priceless information, no? It's a one thing to get an inheritance, but how do you protect it? Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Um, maybe the the prasadam, how we cook prasadam. the food. Yeah, how we cook the food for fresh Krishna and offer it with love. Otherwise, we are eating the sin. Very good. Yes, prasadam are secret weapon against maya uh, we must have some sense gratification and so we can instead of sinful sinful uh, sinful sense gratification we can cook nice food stuff and offer to krishna it is a very powerful uh protection against maya sinful activities so these are all all very good I was reminded uh, that Srila Prabhupada, uh, as our Shiksha Guru, uh, has uh, actually given like a benediction. Uh, 
there is that this one little, very small book, only 12 verses, I think, not, not very big, this Nectar of Instruction book, uh, Upadesh Amrita. It's available online. And Srila Prabhupada uh, uh, has translated this by Srila Rupa Goswami, and he writes that if we just follow the instructions, these 11 verses, not very much, we will be successful. We will be successful in Krishna Prema. We will be successful in going back to Godhead. Wow, what an important book. Uh, these 11 or 12 verses. Uh, and as Prasanatma Prabhu uh, uh, shared one of those. So th there are these verses, the six things that are favorable for devotion, six things that hurt our bhakti lata beach and how to associate with devotees and how to develop Krishna prema step by step. Everything is there. How to be successful, how to protect ourselves so that we don't lose this opportunity. So we get the full benefit of uh, going back to Godhead, this Upadesh Amrita, uh, nectar of instruction. Very, very valuable. So we were speaking about the plant. You have a little plant in your flat. And so you don't want uh, the cat stepping on it and you don't want the wind hurting the little plant. So you protect it. So, so one thing comes to mind, Srila Prabhupada writes, uh, someone mentioned association, uh, that we must uh, put a fence. We must, we must put a fence around our heart, our bhakti heart, of uh, pure devotees so that we may uh, be reminded what is the pure thinking, what is the pure understanding, and we can also be infected. Yes, so that we can become uh, infected uh, with bhakti. Uh, there's a transcendental, mystical, a thing that happens when we associate with pure devotees who are deeply awakened in Krishna prema, uh, that prema, it touches us, touches our very soul, our very self, depending on our openness, uh, which, uh, you know, like if there's paint on the wall, you, you just, if you brush up against it, <laughs> the paint gets on your clothes, or, or even if you're in a room with a lot of, uh, so you know, suppose there's a lot of perfume, cologne, <laughs> you'll start to smell like you come home and your wife will ask, who, where have you been? <laughs> because it, it, it uh, just by being uh, close, uh, and everyone knows if you are in a place where people are smoking cigarettes, your clothes smell, and everything is nasty but if we associate with pure devotees and hear them and especially hear them but also physically seeing them uh, very spiritually transcendentally powerful to enthuse us and especially to hear them speak about krishna they have a according to the purity of the devotee there is a potency uh, and of course it also depends on the uh, receptivity, but there is a potency. Otherwise, see, uh, Srila Prabhupada writes that this creeper, this creeper of devotion, just like you have elephants there, uh, for those of you who are in Africa, there are elephants, yes? Uh, so the elephant... <laughs> It's so big, it steps on practically anything, it will crush it. No? So uh, the mad elephant offense. Maybe some of you have heard about this. The mad elephant offense, which destroys, just like an elephant goes into the bush and just steps and breaks all the plants in the small trees, rips them up. So 
when we uh, do not associate with pure devotees enough and we mix with devotees too much, we become uh, infected with material desires and we begin to make offenses uh, to the spiritual teachers by ignoring their instructions. Especially always, but especially in the beginning stages, our mind can become infected. Then we begin to think, what is this nonsense? No illicit sex, no smoking. What is this nonsense? And that is an offense. That is opera. And especially if we are initiated, uh, we make offense. We begin to find fault with devotees and especially with the spiritual master because we get too stupid. We get infected with material uh, sense gratification desires. So we begin to criticize. What is this nonsense? This bloody hell. And so that is apparat. And we will lose our attraction for Krishna. Just as uh, we can become, we will become more and more attracted, mad after Krishna. Um, so we can lose that attraction and we'll end up doing things we never dreamed that we would do. Uh, so, so very important, uh, this Upadeshamrita, nectar of instruction, it's only 11, 12 verses. Uh, it gives everything, all the instructions we need to be successful. Just we have to follow it. That's all. Someone says, oh, how can I be a successful devotee? No problem. Read Nectar of Instruction. Follow it. That's all. <laughs> we ask the mentors or the spiritual master, oh, can I have your blessing? Sure. Read Nectar of Instruction and follow it. That's all. Do it. Get it over the goal line, and you will be successful. Yes. So we can, we can, uh, as tiny little servants of Krishna, uh, in service to our spiritual master, we can give people, um, we can give people the spiritual world, in a sense, by giving them the instructions how to do it. And, of course, following ourselves and giving uh, the best example that we can and connecting them to Srila Prabhupada and pure devotees and the disciplic succession. Um, such a valuable opportunity each and every one of us carries. We are all uh, postal carriers of Nama Chintamani. We are all postal carriers of Goloka Vrindavan. We are, actually. Uh, even we may not be so advanced, but we can give others the opportunity. We can give them the chance to start, just like we have been given the chance to start. So we know uh, there is so many descriptions of, of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and other pure devotees of the Lord our own Srila Prabhupada, we can feel their attraction to Krishna, their devotion to Krishna, um, and become enthused and stay enthusiastic by that subtle sangha. So are there any questions or comments, some discussion about this? Hare, Hare Krishna. Anyone with a comment or question? So, Hare Krishna Prabhuji, for the, thank you for the wonderful class and um, <clears throat> we have learned so many things. And more especially about uh, how to protect our Bhakti Lata Beach or uh, how to protect our bhakti by doing our sadhana sincerely, uh, reading uh, Upadeshamrita, Nectar of Instruction. 
taking devotees association that is very very important uh, in that way we are going to enhance the success of our spiritual life <clears throat> and uh, there is this uh, <clears throat> analogy given about a, a small garden just beside the, the, or behind your, your house there is this small garden where we plant some vegetables isn't it so what do you do you first of all fence uh, the small garden and then daily you uh, you water the plants only then uh, your plants will be nourished and they will be healthy so these are uh, fencing of this garden is following the four regulative principles and this daily watering of this uh, this plant is our japa so when you are chanting every day hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram ram ram, ram hari hari we are watering these plants and then when we are following the four regulative principles we are fencing ourselves from all these anarthas so we not be contaminated by these anarthas so if we follow this sincerely <clears throat> then now uh, we are assured of our spiritual success but if we ignore the shelter of the spiritual master we don't take uh, full shelter of a spiritual master then we're not going to realize all these things and this is the ashraya tatva which we have been uh, discussing in this chapter that when we are realize everything that krishna has done uh he has done everything for us he has provided everything he has given us the senses he is the one controlling everything at the same time he has given us some minute independence then we surrender to krishna because we understand we are insignificant givers with is nothing for us and he is the purusha he is the enjoyer we are the enjoyer in the prakriti and so our duty is to reciprocate to this love that krishna has given us by serving him and devotional service is the answer to all this bhakti is the essence hari krishna well, if i can ask one question is that all right yes yes prabhu so if, if if i am not yet able to follow all the regulative principles or i have been trying for some time and it it's uh i am not yet should i just give up and wait until my next life because i'm not going to be successful i'm not following and i've tried for months weeks maybe i should just do something else and then 30 years then i'll try again what should i do no we should keep on we should keep on because um, <clears throat> uh the progress is what matters that at least we should make at least a little progress just like the baby steps you know perfection doesn't matter perfection but the progress is what matters in the uh, in shri upadeshamrita rupa goswami says that um <clears throat> the endeavor is what matters the endeavor is what matters that uh, the advancement of a devotee depends on his attitude the attitude we have will determine our success in spiritual life so yeah, krishna will give sounds... us costless mercy as far as we are sincere yes we are falling down here and there we are some we are actually always in maya but sometimes in krishna consciousness so depending mm -hmm. on our mood the sincerity so krishna will give us costless mercy okay i remember something shri prabhupada uh, writes here and there that it depends for each of us it may be more or less challenging uh because of our previous uh engagement in devotional service how much we've been involved in uh sinful habits uh it may take less or it may take more time that anarta navritti you know just like when you have cloth and you sometimes it's a little bit dirty sometimes you fell in the mud or sometimes there is some chain uh stains so you have to scrub sometimes not much sometimes you really have to wash it two or three times it takes so right so you quoted that uh uh utsaha nischaya darya tat tat karma pravartana from the upadesha amrita uh, so we get 
here is a uh, simple that we should be both, uh, what is it? Uh, enthusiastic and patient. That it's, it, it's, <laughs> I'm probably not going to be pure in my mind tomorrow or next week. I, I might even be uh, having difficulty with the regular principles for some years. Uh, but the process will work as long as we, the, the cloth will become clean as long as we keep washing. But if we give up the washing, then, then it won't become clean. So patient. And we may have to become even more humble. Oh, I must have done some, so many bad habits. They're so deep in my mind. So I just patient. And if it's difficult, that is, that is my tapasya. Uh, what is that? Tapo divyam putuka dena satvam. The human life is meant for some difficulty and nothing comes cheap. And if it's difficult, if we think, oh, these other devotees, they, they, don't, they don't seem like they're having as much trouble. But when you win, when you, uh, when we uh, become more as we would want to be, then it is such a great feeling, such a great success, something we really treasure. Oh, so many weeks, so many months I've been struggling. Uh, oh, I am now on top of Kilimanjaro. <laughs> I have reached the, near the peak. And, oh, I'm never going to do anything to lose this. So, Sandhya Krishna has a different plan for each of us. You know, what will what will increase our uh, love and our valuing. And I may also say that, uh, you know, association with devotees to take shelter of each other, you know, find someone, a friend that we can trust, you know, that, oh boy, I got lost at the pub last night. I don't know what to do. And our friend, uh, God sister, God brother will uh, encourage us as a friend. That's not so good. So what do you plan to do? What is your plan of progress? You know. So we, we take shelter of each other, whatever it may be, um, because we're all struggling to one degree or the other. Sometimes some of us are floating on top of the ocean of bhakti more. Some of us, sometimes we're going underneath the water a little bit, you know. But we are all together as a family. Uh, we're not criticizing or finding fault uh, like this, but with compassion, with care. And perhaps sometimes stern, you know. Sometimes a friend will say, what kind of stupid thing did you do? And it's not mean, but it's just uh, love, you know. That, oh, cut that out. Aren't you sick of that already? or whatever it may be, like this, yes. Uh, something I remember from that nectar of instruction, which is used by even, uh, I think, Alcoholics Anonymous, other groups like that, that uh, if we are not able to do perfectly, we should set a goal that we can meet and then make progress from there. That's very, very powerful. That sometimes not that, oh, I'm going to jump to the top next week. And then we, we can't do that. We get discouraged. Instead, increments, depending upon our situation, whatever it is, this much, then that much, then that much. And we get real uh, confidence that, like, oh, I'm making progress. I'm only smoking 10 cigarettes a week. Next month, two cigarettes, and then we make real progress like this. Uh, not that we think uh, we should, you know, it's, uh, depending upon who we are, uh, even ourselves, we should be careful that we are not pushing ourselves even. Oh, I'm only going to eat rice. Rice and dal, no salt, nothing. Maybe if you if that will be okay for you, but it may not be. It depends. Uh, Shri Bhaktivedanta Thakur, uh, 
uh, speaks a lot about this, that basically one man's sin is another person's piety. You know, what we would not advise someone else if we advise another person, they need that. That's good for them. So we need intelligence to understand this point. Um, how to apply the progress of Krishna consciousness. I thought I'd mention. Yes. Wonderful summary, Prabhuji. <clears throat> Anyone with a question? No, uh, Prabhuji, I have um, something to add. I don't know how relevant it is to the question, but in one of the chapters of the Gita, um, Arjuna asks Krishna this question, what happens to the devotees who start off with this um, worship and then they more or less fall by the wayside? And Krishna says to him, they will not lose out. They will still benefit from whatever prayers they've done. And um, so that's, that's something I'm not too sure how relevant it is. The other yeah, thing that's I, very good. Thank you. I also want the Abra Brahmana shows to you Pratyavayana Vidyate, isn't it, Priya Govinda? That in this endeavor there's no loss or diminution, no diminution. and even a little bit of effort. We don't I'm lose it. Well. Why don't we lose it, Priya Govinda? What why, what is the difference between this and trying to advance in a career? Because a devotional service is transcendental. It's eternal. This life and next life still there, still present. So wherever we also, drop off, we pick up from again. Yes, yes, yes. Can I also ask, does the two words, aparad and anarta, both mean offenses? Well, aparad is specifically offenses and anarta is unwanted things unwanted um, desires specifically which can lead to offenses you know if someone is too strongly having material desires then um, that increases the tendency to get rid of anything that interferes as we were discussing last week Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur points out there's really no such things as atheists or a, a few, but actually, what it is is that you know the souls are so strongly wanting material desires they want to kill Krishna. That's all. Even ourselves, we want to get rid of anything that might interfere uh, with sense gratification. So anartas can lead to aparat. Yeah, but it's not offensive to have anarta. We shouldn't think, oh, I'm going to hell because. I have, I'm not a pure minded soul. No. Especially in, I was just listening one class when Sannyasi was reminding that uh, in the age of Kali, we are not responsible for, there's no reaction if we think something, fortunately, or we would be in, at least I would be in big trouble. But uh, in other ages, if you just think something, oh, you get reaction. Uh, so fortunately, it, it's not. But if we do not try to get rid of it and we cultivate it, you know, just like we maybe see something on the internet and we become tempted to look, oh, so maybe we look, but then we, oh, that is not good. I should not, that won't help my bhakti to be looking at that. Uh, so Krishna, but if we keep looking and even, I really shouldn't, but I'm going to do it anyway. So that is the result of uh, not enough association with pure devotees that we give in willfully. I, I, I don't care what they say. I'm going to do it. Just, just, that's, that's not good. That is very offensive kind of thinking. And Krishna will see that. So Prabhupada said once, twice, maybe thrice, and then he will let us go down. So this explains why even we see advanced devotees uh, we thought were advanced, they become involved because they were thinking 
for so long. Oh, I'm going to do this. So Krishna um, disciplines. All right. I will take your intelligence away since you don't want it. And you will do these things you think will make you happy. You know, Krishna, he gives us sarvasitaham, isn't it? Tesham, satitam, yuktilam, bhajitam, pri. Krishna is our best friend. Even us, right? If you have a friend and you give them and try to give them advice once or twice and they get they get upset with you, all right, fine. Do whatever you want to do. You know, learn the hard way. So that's what Krishna does. All right, I tried to help you. Now you're going to find out yourself. So let's not put Krishna in that position. Let's not uh, hurt ourselves like that. Any other comments or thoughts? Maybe we can end there, Prabhuji. I think we have not locked anyone. So, so Prabhuji, we are very grateful for this wonderful uh, discourse on Srimad Bhagavatam. And uh, it was quite inspiring for everyone because this is practical. We can uh, apply this in our day-to-day -day life. Then only then we'll be successful because... Um, in this material world, we are all um, uh, materially diseased. Then we have to take some medicine and we have to follow a diet. So this following, uh, uh, taking the medicine, this is our satana. We are practice performing our satana and uh, taking medicine alone is not enough. We have to uh, take a diet and then the diet is our japa. So the chanting of Hare Krishna Mahamantra will deliver us in this age of Kali. And so kindly let us unmute ourselves and chant the holy name for the glorification of His Grace, Divina Sharan Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Vancha Karpa Taru Vyasa Kripa Sindhu Vyasa, Patitanam Kavanidu, Vaishnam Vyasa, Namu Namaha. Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki, Shri Rakvambu Vrinda Ki Jai. Jai. His grace, Dina Shadan, Prabhuji Ki Jai. Jai. Rantra Shri Madhavatan Ki Jai. Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai. Ki Jai. Premanande Hari Hari Vo. Thank you so much. All glories to His Divine Grace, Shri Prabhupada. Jai, Shri Prabhupada. Begging everyone's blessings, and I wish everyone well in the coming week. Hare Krishna. Hare Thank Krishna. you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna.